Joining us live from the coastal city of Mombasa is our reporter Francis Ontomwa. Francis, good afternoon. And what is the situation like in Mombasa? Uh, good afternoon, Yusuf. And here in Mombasa, it's all peaceful. Kenya's second largest city. People here and residents of Mombasa are going on uh, uh, with their businesses. Uh, this is Moy Avenue, the, 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 one of the busiest streets here in Mombasa. And it's all about uh, almost normal, actually, what is going on here. And it's an election, uh, Yusuf, that has uh, left a lot of scars and also stirred a lot of excitement in equal measure. And a couple of minutes ago, you were speaking to Kazungu Kambi, uh, the man who was for the Kilifi governorship and also a former cabinet secretary. He has, he has spoken about how he is uh, planning to consolidate evidence and move to court uh, to reject the election outcome of Kilifi County. Remember, he was trounced by Amazon King, the current uh, governor of Kilifi County. And just to give you a bit of a summary here on the outcome of uh, the coast region here, and uh, the, 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 the numbers actually look like a balanced affair here. Three governors have retained their seats here in, Mom here in the coast region, while three Three new faces have emerged. Here in Mombasa, Mombasa, Hassan Ali Joho has retained his seat. In Kilifi, uh, Amazon Jeffa King has also retained his seat. And in Kwale, Governor uh, uh, Salim Vure has also retained his seat. Those are the three governors. Uh, but there are new faces. In Taita Taveta, we have Granton Samboja, a journalist, a former journalist who has uh, trounced opponents on a wiper ticket. In uh, Tana River, we have Dado Godana, also a new face. And in Lamu County, there is a new man. Fahim Twaha was trounced Issa Timami uh, to become now the new governor. Of course, all set to be sworn in. Uh, by and large, uh, there is an interesting scenario here because Jubilee has run away with two, two, two seats here. Uh, that is, of course, in Lamu County and also in Kwale County, uh, Drum Vuria and uh, Fahim Twaha. And here in Mombasa, to give you also a bit, a bit of a summary here in Mombasa, uh, there, are new, there are changes actually here at uh, Kisauni and Nyali. Mohamed Ali, uh, the former journalist of KTN has ran away with uh, Nyali and Kisauni. We have Ali Mbogo who has trounced uh, Benzimba, Rashid Benzimba, the current member of parliament uh, uh, for Kisauni. And in Likoni there is a surprise. Uh, Mishimboko has uh, ran away with it. He has trounced uh, uh, for Malims Masud Mwahima, the former member of parliament in that particular area and along serving at that. Uh, we also in Vita constituency, nothing much to report about because Abdul Somad Sharif Nasser has retained his seat and uh, Jomvu Badi Twalib also retained in this seat, uh, this time around on an ODM ticket uh, and not an, a, wiper, a wiper ticket as, as it was in the last election. And Changamwe Omar Muni, uh, the man uh, who has been in charge of that particular constituency, is still going to be the member of parliament in that constituency. Uh, by and large, so it is all peacefully in Mombasa. Most of the estates here in Mombasa that you manage to go uh, to travel to and to traverse, uh, they are quite peaceful. And residents here are just calling uh, for peace to really uh, co continue to be seen throughout the country. So so that there is a peaceful transition in some of these seats here in Mombasa, Yusuf.